All right. Righty then. How are you doing? Uh, doing good, man. Doing good. How's everything going with you, Chong? It's, it's been great. Uh, great weekend. Um, well, I think we have um, enough people here so we can start if you want. That's okay with you? Yeah, sure, man. Uh, whenever you guys are ready. Sure. Let's hit it. Um, well, tell us a bit about yourself, James. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, my name's James Woodfin, uh, longtime crypto investor. Uh, I got my first Bitcoins when you could mine them on a CPU. Um, so I've been doing this for, for a little while here. Um uh, have some business management experience, uh, about eight years of that owning my own business. Uh, I'm not the only team member with, uh, high levels of experience like that. We've got about 25 years of business management experience on the team and about 30 years of crypto experience. My, uh, my day job, I am a auto mechanic primarily, um, I lost my business with uh, with COVID back in January of 2020, like a lot of people did, and I ended up moving down to Florida, and uh, now I uh, have an easy life working on lawnmowers. Are you said law enforcement? Uh, lawn mowers. I work on commercial lawn maintenance equipment. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, that's a solid background, mostly because back in the day when you could mine a Bitcoin with a CPU, that was uh, quite a quite a go. So you've been in crypto space a while. Yeah, there was uh, there was a little, a little while there, about ten years, that I was out of investing in it due to some life circumstances. I uh, I got hurt on the job and just really couldn't afford to do it anymore. But. Um... Yeah, you know, that that that's life. Yeah, that's... been back in the back in the investing since uh, right around the time the smart chain came out. I mean, you still have lots of experience, and that's what forges character, you know. So, um, great to hear. It sounds really solid. Um, well, can you tell us about your team and what roles do they have or they play um, on equity? So. Uh... Our, our our in-house uh, Schiller and Twitter influencer and business development manager is uh, Crypto Lady Ninja. Uh, she's a Twitter personality. It's been around the, the crypto space for a good few years now. Um, she's got, I think it was 12 or 15 years of business management experience. Um, she currently does freelance consulting work alongside uh, being all in and day trading cryptos. Uh, and we have Diesel, who is our uh, traditional marketing and community guy. He's uh, He's got about 20 years of business management experience under his belt and owning small businesses. Uh, he his current work uh, and his last small business that he owned, he spent uh, quite a bit of time working in advertising and marketing those businesses. And uh, he he has a lot of knowledge about the traditional marketing space, like your, you know, your poo coin ads and Dex tools and radio, TV, that kind of stuff. And we, uh, we also have Deathwing, uh, Robert. He's our other docs member of the team. He is our lead engineer. Um, the, the man is just brilliant with code. If anybody, uh, anybody wants to take a look at our contract at the source, if you know what you're looking at, it's, it's, it's very well done. He crammed a whole lot into a small space. <laughs> That's pretty nice, oh, man. That's pretty solid. You have, I don't know how many years, like if you get them all together with at least more than 80, I think, years of experience combined. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty, oh, yeah. solid, pretty solid team, even if it's relatively small, you know, but these kind of teams are usually the, the most passionate. So that's, that's really good. That's great. Um, yeah, we, we, we don't see a need to have a, a, a huge team of, of people here. I mean, it, it's a relatively simple idea. The execution on it is relatively simple. And it, it, 
there's just not that much there. We're we're not chasing any fads or trends or stuff like that. You know, there's no NFTs or swap or wallet or any of that stuff that that everybody seems to be doing right now. Because to to be honest, we just can't do it better than the guys that are out there doing the best that they can right now. So we may as well make our own product. And if it's something that, you know, fits with us like a, a wallet or a debit card, why not use one of those other better products that's already out there and help support those communities and those guys too. That's a great take. I love it. Um, you know, sometimes yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the best solution is the most simple, you know. Exactly. And at the end of the day, crypto is all just one big giant community. So we, we may as well all take care of each other and help each other out. Pretty true, pretty wise words there. Very nice. Um, beautiful. Thank you. Um, can you tell me where are you based or are you like most crypto teams who are spread throughout the world? So we we are spread out throughout the world. Um, myself, I'm in uh, Florida in the United States. We have another team member in Virginia in the United States. Uh, Crypto Lady Ninja is in Portugal and our, our uh, lead engineer, Deathwing, is in Germany. I really like Florida. A uh, really beautiful place. Um, oh, but... it's not, it's not. <laughs> yeah, my only problem <laughs> is, the, is the heat. You know, sometimes it can be suffocating, but it's very beautiful. Um, Stay on the coast. It's not so bad because there's always wind. That's true. That's very true. Um, well, uh, sorry. Just wanted to say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. uh, um, so what about the laws in your country? We, we, I mean, if you're the main like leader, I guess it's based on your country. The laws you have to respect. Are they tough in the USA? Uh, yes, relatively tough, um, for basically a anything. Then there's a lot of, uh, there, there's not really a lot of regulation in the crypto space here, but, uh, we, we have some pretty substantial wire fraud laws and stuff like that. And, you know, the, those could definitely be used against us in the event of scamming and the the nanook and the coinscope kycs were actually chosen because they will pursue charges against us in our countries of origin right uh that's you know that's um really solid to you know like to point out that you can they can take legal action against you and i mean you're fully docs you're literally on the camera so i think investors are really yeah secure you're not drugging them which is really nice as well um, talking about KYC, yeah. sorry, please go, please go on. We, we've been in this space and been investors for longer than probably most of you guys have. We've been rug pulled. We've been scammed. We, we don't even want to talk about how many times. So that's, that's not something that we're going to do. Yeah, I agree. I've been relatively short here and I've been scammed. I think everyone has, you know, you have to get scammed at least once to, you know, fully get the experience. I wish oh, it yeah. wasn't like that. Oh, yeah. But... yeah. You, you got to get scammed once and you have to send your money to the wrong chain wallet address once. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, it's like you, when you drive and you have to wreck that first car. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know how to drive. Thankfully, I just know how to use my bicycle. But, <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> um, so, who is getting KYC and and why? Why did you choose? It? I imagine you yourself, but I don't know if uh, you know all the team is getting KYC. So so what's the deal? So three of the members have uh, traditional KYC done. Myself, uh, Deathwing, our engineer, and Diesel. Um, Diesel is not doxing himself uh, for potential legal reasons with his day job and the licenses that he holds in, a, in his day job. Uh, Lady Ninja, she she's done almost better than KYC and doxed her Twitter, which is like her job. Yeah, I agree. That's pretty solid. Uh, you know, sometimes being anonymous is it's better for you know the uh, the, the context you move. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, and three people is you know it's uh, almost the whole team. So that's really nice. Some people just uh, 
KYC one people at, at the time, but almost all the team, it's really solid as well. Uh, so thank you for sharing that. Um, which brings me to yeah, the I mean, we, we don't have anything to hide at all. There's nothing to hide. There's no fake numbers. It's all real. Anything you guys want to know, if you want to know when, where, where, where our marketing money has gone, what we've spent it on, just ask. We'll show you. It's all out in the open. I respect that transparency. Um, well, the, the money belongs to the investors at the end of the day. We're just the shepherds of it. That's true. That's, that's pretty true. Um, do you guys know each other in person? Uh, Diesel and I, we know each other in real life. Um, we grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same schools, that kind of thing. Um, the rest of us, uh, we all met through various Discord servers, uh, moderating duties on those, uh, just being volunteers. Um, we're not going to name drop any of that big stuff in here, but they, they weren't small, uh, small coins, but that, that's where we ended up all meeting and becoming friends. Nice. Really nice. Good old Discord always bringing people together, you know? Yeah. I, I gotta say it is superior to telegram in just about every way. I, I, I don't understand why the crypto community is so stuck on telegram. Ooh, you better watch out there, buddy. You don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> Here, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, I agree. I like, I, honestly, I like Discord more. It's more personal, you know? It's just easier to find and disseminate information, really. Yeah, that's true. Um, have you worked before together? I mean, I know that because you answered the previous question. So, but if you can, if you want to elaborate more, please do. Uh, just working together as far as like a professional paid deal. No, none of us have ever done that, but we have worked together in the volunteer moderating capacity for quite a while now. And we're, we're all really just good friends anyway. Okay. That's nice. I mean, friendship is, you know, solid. That means that speaks good of a project, you know, if the people care for each other. So that's really nice. Um, okay, let's go to the, the juicy stuff that the, about your project. Can you explain the concept of equity? Um, I imagine it's really similar to the same equity concept that from, you know, economic overall, but some people might not know it. So just please. So the, the concept and the idea is that we are a place to store value similar to a, a savings account at a bank. But it, instead of us paying you back interest, we pay you back in reflections. Uh, there's a 20% buy and sell tax that is all directed back into reflections. That's how we fund the project. Um, you get BUSD by default, and you can actually choose whatever BSC coin that you want. Anything that's on the Binance Smart Chain that has a BNB trading pair can be chosen. You just go to our dashboard and drop the contract in like it was PancakeSwap. We do 0% uh, wallet to wallet, so if you want to actually pay somebody with it, you can do that. But the, the, the main draw is the... Um, it's the reflections. Nice, pretty simple, pretty clean. I like it. It does. It does. It doesn't need a whole lot else to it. Um, you, you're we're we're a savings account. Like that's basically <laughs> it. <laughs> you came up with this idea, or or who came who came up with this? Yeah. So the, it was, it's been something that I've been kicking around for several months now, trying to figure out a, a decent way to implement it. And, uh, some of these rewards tokens that have recently come up have, uh, have given me the ideas that I needed to really put it all together and make it happen. Um, the, the foundation of it is my idea, but the, the team and the, the community the, that we have at, uh, at our, private discord server has uh has really helped out a lot with everything it's not all just me yeah of course of course that's good to hear okay sounds good i like it um could you explain about the tokenomics involved in your in your project so that that's actually one of the simplest things there 
20% buy and sell tax, all of it is reflections. There's no developer tax. There's no marketing tax. There's no LP tax. The developer and the marketing wallets are paid reflections. Uh, we, we hold a certain amount of coins in each one of those wallets. They are locked by the contract. We can't buy, sell, or transfer the tokens because, you know, you never sell your own tokens. So we fund the whole thing through the reflections. We don't need an LP tax because we're constantly putting coin back into the LP to pay the reflections. That's sick. I've never heard that. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Why like why that. would you add swap and liquefy when you swap and liquefy with every transaction? <laughs> That's true. That's pretty true. I like it. I like it. I'll, I'll miss it for sure. Um, yeah, we, we, we put a lot of thought, a lot of planning in, into every teeny tiny little detail about this thing that the one hair in the plan is actually a uh, DX sale. You, you wouldn't let me do it for eight days. I had to go seven days. I, I wanted to catch that 15th in there too, for another payday for people. Oh, uh, well, or bad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hey, if that is the one snag we've hit so far, that is not bad at all. Right. <laughs> no, for sure. I mean, you, you make it sound so simple, which I, I love because, you know, sometimes these products have all these buzzwords and all these shenanigans on the tokenomics that people can barely understand. So that, 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 the that's color. the beauty of it, man. It, it is simple and it is just laser focused on that one thing. And we're going to do it and do it really, really, really well. All yeah. we have to do is continue to drive volume into the project. And as long as we do that, the holders get paid, the marketing gets paid, and the developers get paid. Nice. Nice. Claps for you. Maybe next time I do an MIA, I'll just get like uh, sound effects and I'll clap because you deserve some claps. <laughs> um, do you have yeah, a working product? I mean, it's a working product. Yes. So everything is, it's there, it's ready. It's the, we have the token and we have the website, uh, the, the website, you kind of have to have one to be a token, but it's really just a place that holds our dashboard. Uh, the dashboard, it, it's up. It looks like it is, uh, made by a developer because that's exactly what it is. We have not had the art applied to it yet. I have to apologize to all you guys on that one. And no, it's not USDT. BUSD is correct. The, the developer was just sleeping when he typed all that out. I mean, you will have that straight. Yeah, it, it's there. It's functional. It just doesn't have the art, and it'll it'll be a couple of days before they get it done. Yeah, I mean, I have some background on, on engineering, you know, like coding. And someone told me once, if it works, just let it be like that. Don't move it. Just keep it like that. Oh, dude, but no, it's it's so ugly. We can't do that. The rest of everything <laughs> else looks so good, man. Our our artist has just freaking killed it on everything. <laughs> I love the logo. Oh, uh, there there he is, right there. What's up, nasty? Uh, if if anyone on your team wants to say anything, you can raise your hand because I'm not sure who everyone is. I know Lady Ninja is here, and she she asked me to mute her, but I'm not sure if the rest of the team. Um, has you know like anything to say? They can just raise their hand as well. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I think everybody. Uh, I don't think anybody else is uh, is going to be speaking today. I believe Diesel said he was out with his old lady. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Oh, Diesel is Diesel is here. He wants he wants to speak. Oh, okay. Yeah, bring him in. Yeah, he's free to speak. I'm just on the road right now, headed back home. I uh, just wanted to say hi, uh, and I've been listening. Uh, everything sounds real good. Y'all have uh, gotten a lot of questions answered. And Ninja Ninja would like to speak as well, I think. Oh, she's free to speak. She also She's also muted. Nice to meet you, by the way. But, oh my God, I don't know how to speak today. Yeah, Diesel, thanks for being here as well. Hey guys, here I am. Hello from Lisbon to the whole world. Hey, nice to meet you as well. Hey. Uh, nice having all the team here. It's really cozy. 
Yeah, yeah Gimmons, Dookie, uh, the... Dookie pretty much answered uh, to all the questions that um, that our investors have been asking. And of course, we are aware that more new investors will come at Equity. And we are always ready um, at our group on Telegram and on Discord to answer to any questions because to us, um, transparency and honesty is they are the main keys to success. And this is something that I've been noticing that not every crypto project has. And we decided since the very beginning to be like an open book to everybody, because as I said, transparency and honesty are the the most important things when it comes to business and particularly in crypto. Yeah, I mean, full transparency. Um, obviously, I'm not going to name any projects, but we've all heard this from so many projects. Oh, we're in supposedly hush-hush secretive talks with the shiller for some shilling. And it ends up being one post from a guy with two, 300,000 followers. And, uh, you know, as we all know, those negotiations can basically happen inside of 15 minutes. And uh, <laughs> every... Uh, and you can, and you, if you've been in our Telegram, you'll have seen it. Um, we've told you who we're getting to shill us and about what times they're going to be posting it for just about every single one when we've remembered to do it. Because um, there's absolutely no value add to that secrecy at all. It does nothing. It's easier just to be act like you're a publicly audited company that's traded on the NYFP, have an open book. Yeah. That's Absolutely. right. The only good things that grow in the dark are mushrooms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I like mushrooms. Amen, guys. Me too. <laughs> oh, yes, me too. Oh, well, uh, thank you all for speaking. That means a lot. That looks really good on you guys. So thank you for sharing those thoughts. And like you said, transparency is so key. And in this space, you know, with everything is so ambiguous and, you know, like people are always eager to know what's going on with their money. That's really nice, guys. So um, great, great stuff for you, from you, sorry. Um, do you want to add anything else or shall we go to the next question? I think we can go on to the next question, man. Okay, um, so I mean, clearly you guys have like a solid marketing team, but you know, I have this greediness, so I have to say it anyways. Um, what are you guys doing to promote your tokens, to, your token to growth? Uh, so we're, right now we're, we're starting out small and organic. Like I said, we're, we're doing all real numbers. We're, we're not paying for any votes. We're not forced joining anybody to the telegram, nothing like that. So we're we're starting small and, and we're we're going through the the usual routes of you know Twitter influencers and Telegram influencers and that stuff and we're we're selecting the ones that that are actually decent and do not represent pump and dump groups so that we we can get this thing launched and get our LP stabilized so we can actually you know survive groups like that coming in and, and doing stuff. Um, we're also going to be running lots of PooCoin ads, lots of text tools ads, and ads anywhere else that it actually makes sense to run them for a crypto project. Pretty solid. Um, how do you identify what like influencers are good? That's uh, that's a personal question to be honest, but I'm really curious. Mostly, it's a it's a goodly bit of time actually going through their content and looking at how it's interacted with and who's interacting with it and you know what they're saying is is that a bot? Is it not a bot? Is this actually a person? You know, are are they taking the time to answer people's questions? You know, stuff like that. People that actually care about the community that's following them. That's who we're using. And one kind of, uh, one other level we take it to with them is we'll go and look. Ah, uh, the dangers of Telegram on your phone. And, you know, the road, I think he, he said he was right. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so we 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 actually look at we actually look at the other coins and stuff that they're posting. I think is what he was going to be saying to see the the quality of content. Like that, the first people on our list are the ones that actually want to read our contract themselves before they will uh, even talk to us about promoting the product. And then we'll go through and. We'll, we'll take a look at it. You know I mean? If they, if they're promoting a, a whole bunch of uh, scam coins or pump and dumps where it's really clear that they're, they're just taking the money and posting whatever as a copy paste that they got, then yeah, we're, we're not interested in that. It's not going to build us the kind of community uh, that, that we want to build. Okay. So you guys act a bit of like BI before, before, um, you know, like. Exactly. Maybe. That's great. Exactly. That's really good. I like it. Um, nice. That's really nice. So, um, what's the biggest challenge you have faced uh, in this in this uh, adventure you guys have been? Uh, the biggest challenge, probably just the uh, ha having the attention span to deal with everything coming at you from a million different angles at a time. Uh, like the, I think the only way that I'm getting through this is uh, three monitors, ADD, and copious amounts of caffeine. <laughs> nice, basically everyone in crypto. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's oh, correct. Oh, oh, it's rough out here with you, you know, like one day in crypto is like one week uh, for normal people. I guess I feel I feel that way. Uh, I know it's it, it's wild, man. Like, luckily, I've had um, I had a really long vacation right after Thanksgiving. I think I got like fourteen days off or something like that. Uh, and then we also just had another week off for uh, Christmas and New Year's, so I was able to put some good time in and and make this thing happen. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We go back to work tomorrow, though. So uh, all the Telegram kids are going to get to see what I do for a living. Because I'm just going to get in the video, <laughs> turn it on on my laptop, turn and go on. and work. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to become a full-time streamer. Hey, yeah, man. You want to know where the dev's at, what the dev's doing? Like, right there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be uh, interesting, interesting to see, you know, like... Well, we can talk about that later. Sorry, I get off rail sometimes. Yeah, um, no, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Okay. So, where do you see your project in six months? Like, do you have anything in your roadmap that you want to do more than other things? Uh, because your roadmap so, is quite simple. I think uh, that's what I saw. It was. It, it really is um, that 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 step five there the uh, the the to be announced we're we're really not ready to talk about it yet um, it, it's not anything crazy and huge and it is not going to take any funds away from the BSC project uh, it, it will be paid for out of the developers' pockets. I see. I see. What about the secrecy, man? I thought you said there was there was none. Uh, what's going on here, man? It, it's uh, it, it it it's not secrecy when uh, when you are not ready to talk about something. We can't have anybody going out there and copying what we're going to do. That's pretty true. That's called being smart, not secrecy. Exactly. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Um. I don't have any question, any more questions, but there's lots of people here who do have. Uh, so before we open this and people can just start firing up, would you like to say anything extra, you know? Um, I, not really, man. I think we've really covered basically all of it. Um, like the, the, one of the main things that, you know, anybody who's still on the fence and thinking about it is you, just remember, we don't get paid if you guys don't get paid. We can't sell the coin. I'll vote for you if you get if you go politics, you know. I'll vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I I already have too much to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So, well, I'm going to open the chat uh, in text, and if you guys have any questions here, which I see you already have, because there's people already raising their hands, uh, I'll just unmute and unmute you, and you guys can speak. So let me just open the chat. 
Okay, guys, if you want to speak uh, on, on voice, just raise your hand. If you want to speak um, on the chat, just let your questions go. Okay, so we have the first three people. I'm going to go with the first I see, which is me, Marmy Squad. Uh, you can speak, buddy. There you go. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. Chong, and uh, <clears throat> I have been watching uh, Equity, and I uh, just have um, around two questions. Uh, one is about uh, what, has, what are your next plans, uh, starting from tomorrow until uh, we finish the pre-sale? So starting from really now until we finish the pre-sale, we have plenty of marketing still going on. Uh, we're out there on Twitter doing everything. Once the pre-sale ends, we're going to start up the traditional marketing, the PooCoin and Dex Tools ads. Uh, and then we we still have that uh, the, the, the thing that we're not ready to talk about that's coming next as well. Okay, thank you. And... Um... Uh, according to your plans, uh, how will you bring people who are outside the uh, outside the uh, crypto world uh, into this new into the crypto world? Actually, who are outside uh, to bring them inside crypto? What are your plans? So <clears throat> that that's not actually our focus at first. We we're going to look more to bring, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to look more to bring people from the centralized side of crypto into the DeFi space to keep this thing going at first. And, and then we'll we'll have the funds to really be able to do what we need to to get out there and start to educate people and, you know, bring them into the DeFi space to where all of this crazy stuff is happening. That's the that's the key, honestly, to all of this. It's the education. Okay, cool. That's cool. Um, I think that's those are my questions. Uh, since you guys are doxed on the video chat, we can trust you with our money. Thank you. We appreciate your trust, man. Thanks for the questions. Okay. Okay. Really nice. Uh, thanks for asking, by the way. Um, we have the next person here. It's called Maverick. Uh, you can you can speak. Uh, you're on mute. Hello, Maverick. You were raising your hand, so I assume you hey, won't. Sorry about that. I, I thought it would get uh, unmuted automatically, but I had to unmute as well. But yeah, anyways, uh, I've actually been following the project for a few days now. I really love the project. The team's awesome. Uh, just one question about marketing that you're sort of staying away from the pump and dump uh, shillers and, you know, stuff like that. But if the name of the game for equity is market volume, why would you want to stay away from uh, those kind of shillers? You know, because if they're buying in, it's, it's good, right? Like, you know, it's just market volume more volume. yes so the that kind of group comes in with enough volume that when you're you're still early on in your project and your lp is small and fragile they can do a lot of damage to your coin so we want to try to stay away from that stuff until the lp is stabilized which i mean you're you're talking like maybe two three days of trading and we're ready for that got it all right that's all for me Yep. Thank you for uh, thanks for asking, man. I'm oh, sorry. Um, do you guys have uh, more questions here on the main chat? You guys can just raise your, your hand, please, uh, or you can also write them on. Uh, yeah, some people are writing on on the on the main chat and see. Let's see what they have to say. Or you guys can just raise your hand and, you know, I can, I can let you speak, guys. Yeah, just a, a, a quick uh, question. Um, how, how long have you been marketing this project? I see in the Telegram we are only 600. 
and the 75 uh how long with, have you been um, if if you remember earlier when I said that we don't have any fake numbers, we we did not force join anyone into the Telegram. We haven't paid for any voting, anything like that. All all of the numbers that you see for the project are real, legit numbers. It was real people clicking on real links that actually wanted to click on those links. Wow, good. I like that one. Um, someone asked if you like ice cream for some reason. Yeah, that's Zola. She's the head manager of my Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a, an inside joke from a, uh, a an AMA that was hosted uh, on one of the discords that we moderated that was a total joke. Man, I feel excluded from the internal joke. Um, <laughs> joke. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you in DM. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, some more people okay. are still grinding, so let's just wait for them. Guys, you can raise your hand here um, if you want. Talk about the Genosis Multisig. I don't think that's a question for you, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that's a question for you. Do you have anything to do with, with Genosis? Uh, yes, actually, we uh, we have our marketing funds stored in a Gnosis multi-sign safe. So oh. what what that is it, it it's a smart contract that is similar to a uh, a lock contract like an LP lock, but it requires multiple wallets to sign for the transactions to allow them to happen. So what that is, uh, what it does for us, <clears throat> we, we have our marketing funds stored there uh, and that just, that allows us to, to not have one team member with access to those funds at any times. So it takes at least three of us to sign that transaction. Oh, okay. It's like the nuclear missile mechanism you see on, on, on the movies, right, with the keys. So Exactly, key. exactly. Okay. Everybody has to agree. Um, we we do that because we can't lock the tokens with a traditional locking service. If, if we did that, we wouldn't be able to access the reflections and then we wouldn't be able to fund the project. So the, the tokens themselves are actually locked by our contract. You, they can't be, you can't buy, sell, or trade from the, the five wallets that are, that belong to the development team uh, for a minimum of a year. And then we still actually have to go in and unlock them manually on BSC scan, which still requires four team members to sign off on. Okay, gotcha. That's really cool. Um, that's really nice. I think I've heard something similar before, but never seen anyone implement it. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, just, most I, of the, most of the time, the multi-sig stuff, you, you'll, you'll implement that with like a bridge and the, the, the controlling account for that and where, you know, it holds all the coins for the bridge, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. I see. Um, you guys are memeing hard. I, I see your community. They like memes. Um, but I'm afraid yes. I have to, to ban that guy called Timo main because I hate Timo. Um, so I'm sorry, man, you're getting banned. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's good people. He's, oh, uh, he's a lot great of people. people. Yeah, oh, they're boy. great people. They're part of our community. Yeah, I can tell. I'm not banning you just because you have solid people here who say you're not good people, but let it be known. Timo Mains are not good people. Anyways. Um, moving on, guys. Do you have more questions? Please uh, raise your hand or just, um, you know, like, oh, that's even worse, my guy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I love Jasper. Yo, Timo, chill it out, oatmeal man. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have a question myself. Sure, you know, like, go ahead. Some people has like fancy stuff behind the logo, you know, like they, they say, oh, this color means, I don't know, this and this and this and this. 
and I see a bull, which you know is bullish, I guess. But do you yeah. have any other like w the reason behind the logo? Right. So the the way that the logo and uh, all the art and stuff came about, um, I, I told our artist Nasty, I said like we need a logo. Um, I'm kind of thinking bullish imagery, like maybe a bull's head, and that's what he came back with, uh, basically on the first go. So yeah, it, like the the art for this whole thing has just like flowed out of this man like a river, and it is just amazing. We're all happy as hell with it. I'm happy as well, and it's not even mine. It's really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, he, he's done really well for us, man. We're super proud. All right. Um, any more questions, guys, or anything you want to add for the moment? Yes, I'm, I actually just invested, <laughs> and I see you guys are doing great. In, in you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I just invested. Thank you for your question. Uh, uh, Eric or Crypt, if you can hear me, there are four people and three of the four KYC'd in a traditional manner. The fourth person, uh, she's a Twitter influencer and has doxxed her, uh, her actual personal Twitter with all of that stuff on it. So it's just as good. Yes. Nice. Um, okay. Keep it coming, guys. Any more questions? Just drop in here. Um. So the SR, the the passive income, it's uh, it's all about the volume. Um, like you, you can take the BUSD and use that to recover the tax that you're gonna spend on your way in and on your way out, or you know you could use it to fund a shitcoin addiction, like a lot of us are gonna do. So it, it really is all in how you want to use it. We we have designed the coin so that it is very, very, very friendly to people who want to buy and sell and trade and take that hundred X profit. And it's it's no problem for the project. Like we don't care. Do do you? Like we we looked at the way that people were trading cryptos and and spending and designed the project around that so that it's it, it's okay. Like it's, it's not going to hurt us. Great. Great, so good. Um, you know, like I've never, never in my life heard someone say that say that about their project. Like, it doesn't really matter what you do; it's gonna work anyways because it's just sustainable. <laughs> That's really nice. Exactly. Uh, Odelia Alford, I think, is the name there. Uh, we we have not done any other projects that are 100% ours from the ground up, but we have been involved in several other projects uh, that most of them, unfortunately, did not take our advice in the end and ended up failing. Um, yeah, honestly, some people don't I like... <laughs> They get blind because they love their project so much. They don't really see the issues. And it's, you know, like everything moves so fast here. Um, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need to, you know, get it right uh, and correct it on the flight or, or just die with it. Um, it, it. It really is crazy the the amount of bad developers basically that are out there and i, I don't even mean you know the, that are just out there to scam you but like guys that don't know how to calculate their own market cap or you know what to do with their own taxes or or how to create a plan that is actually going to fund the project without selling your own coin you never sell your own coin really really true Amazing. I, I might have missed some more. <laughs> I, I helped out a guy that I actually met in this Telegram before we had even set up our DX sale that was trying to figure out how to calculate his own market cap. And he had a sale up for 1700 BNB and he filled it and it tanked. Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh my God. That's a lot. Yes. Money. Yes, and it, this this is the kind of thing that it's just like, wh why would you do that? You, you could have done something with this. You filled a seventeen hundred BNB presale. Come on, you you have to plan for for what your project is and what it's going to do and what the market is going to do. 
If you don't do that, you're going to fail, guaranteed, every time. Yeah, I agree. That's, you know, you, do you want to give some advice to anyone who's planning to launch? Because you, you know your stuff, and I, I like that. And we have some articles running about it, but I hear from someone with, you know, that has been on the field as well, I think it can help people. So if you want to, you know, like give any advice about it, I would love to hear it. Uh, yeah. So the same advice that I'm going to give to any investor, do your own research, but you're not doing crypto research. You're doing business research and business management research. Those are the skills that you need to be successful in the crypto space. If you, if you can't run a business, you can't run a coin. True. I agree. I and totally agree. At, at, at the end of the day, coins a business. If you don't have a business plan, your business will fail every single time. True. Yeah, like it is it is a business. It is money. Uh so yeah, you have to be cold as well, you know. And if you and do was some... like the... Sorry. Okay, please. No, no, please go ahead. Yeah. That was like the first thing we did. We sat down and figured out how much money we would need per month, per week, per day to sustain a, a meaningful marketing campaign. And then kind of worked back out how to make sure we had those funds at certain volume levels. So we knew we had something that was sustainable and realistically sustainable. We know what marketing costs. I agree, it's but it's you not say, cheap. You didn't say hour. You said you plan every, hour. every day, every month, but you didn't say hour, buddy. I think you have a flaw there. I'm not sure. I'm joking. No, no, no. Okay. De de devs are people too. We have day jobs. We need to sleep. <laughs> True. <Exactly. laughs> True. Oh boy. That's really, really wise from you guys. Like, you know, it's, what I like about your project is that it's simple, but really, you know, like the plan is really solid as well. So it's really good because you have, have a good combination almost, you know, really hard to make it fail because it's simple, but really good, you know, really planned. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, like, like I said, we, we planned out every single teeny tiny detail that we could plan for. The, the one thing that is totally beyond our control is the overall market and like we, we can't go out there and put a gun to your head and make you buy the coin that's the one thing we can't control and we we've planned for everything else you know not not every plan survives contact with the enemy granted this is true but we we have done what we think is the the best that we can do with what we have available nice really nice uh, hopefully you never get a gun to make someone buy, it, but you could, you could just in case you, you could, but um, yeah, it's not worth it. The jail sucks. It's so fun. <laughs> especially during basketball season. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. Um, okay. Thank you, Jake. Um, guys. Yeah. Thanks more Jake. Questions? Our artist will love that, man. Oh, look at the water water gun they have there. You got you guys please chill. <laughs> we don't have any injuries here, so I mean keep it cool. Ah, that's a logo. He's cool. Loco's <laughs> another friend of ours. Yeah, yeah I, I think you'll be seeing ours. him back around here. Local Nothing to worry means, about. Yeah, local in Spanish means uh crazy, so you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, same, same, same in Portuguese, loco means completely crazy. <laughs> yeah, so keep it cool, loco. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, loco's good people, though. We've known him for a good while now. Okay, perfect. Um, guys, I'm going to give uh, a couple minutes uh, for you to ask anything. And if that's not the case, we're going to wrap it up. Um, if that's okay. Um, meanwhile, you guys can give me your final thoughts. Uh, did you like, um, 
sorry. Did you like the, the MIA? Would you like anything else? Uh, you know, just for future reference, I'd like um, the guests to tell us how, uh, if it was good for them or would you like anything else? Yeah, no, everything, uh, everything went well from our end here. Uh, and, Besides, you know, some connection issues and stuff like that, but that's not a big deal. I mean, it, 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 it it's not anything that's um, that, that's going to kill a project or anything like that. It's nothing that we need to worry about. The uh, the AMA was uh, well done. You did a pretty good job. Thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, my English is not my first language, so sometimes I trip. Um, but yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, and I think uh, it's time to wrap it up. It's been yeah, man. No worries. We we appreciate you having us on. It's been wonderful having you guys. It's been a blast. You guys are funny. You guys are smart. You guys are... And you know, you guys know your stuff. Uh, I would. I would. Usually, I would say you know your shit, but this is an MIA, so I cannot say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but we we don't care. Uh, but you, yeah, you guys are doing great. Um, when this finishes, I'm going to send you the the bot, right? um, so you guys can put it on your um, Telegram as well or anywhere. Um, thank I you. I cool appreciate that, man. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Okay. And thanks Bye, everybody guys. for thank listening. So much. Very much appreciated for this AMA. No worries. No worries. Thank worries. you, guys. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Please check check them out. Uh, you guys can spam your socials or your personal if you want. I, I already shared the link once, but you guys have so many people talking that it's not there anymore. <laughs> okay, nice. Perfect. Thanks, man. All right. Bye. We'll, talk to you. we'll talk again. For sure. Ciao. Bye.